Uh, I recently added a uh, complete NPM support for Meteor uh, in this weekend and so with this screen cars I'll show you how to work with NPM with Meteor right I mean it's very easily okay so for now today I'm using a uh, really good uh, NPM module called uh, github so it we can access github API very easily using this module so so I've created a simple application that I can get the uh, GitHub user profile uh, using the browser console, right? Okay, nothing much fancy. That but just the functionality. Okay, so let's create application first. Okay, I'm on the desktop. Okay, let's create a simple application. Okay, MRT create GitHub. Let's say test. Right. Okay, I'm on the application test. So now we need to add the npm support. So it's simply a smart package you have to install and marty at npm. Simple as it. Okay, it's at the npm smart package from the atmosphere. Right, it takes a few minutes. No, not few minutes, few seconds. Right. Okay, done, done. I'm okay with the my application. Okay, then then I so now I have to do is let's open up the my right on on the text editor so i'm going on the desktop and then i'll select the ga test okay fine i'm opening the application right so now i have the simple sample uh, media application normal traditionally some css like this because i don't only need these things right now i need to add the the tell the the npm to uh, download uh, access the github uh, module so what I do is I create a new file called packages.json packages.json uh, remember this is not package.json normally with the not js this is package.json and simply a json object which has the uh, so your module names and, and the versions so I'm having the github and the version I'm using is 0 0.1.10 right uh, the you have to uh, enter the exact file version here something like this one work this is normally work in the node.js but uh, here it's not working you have to give the exact file name right now I'm done with the, the, the basic setup and now first run the MRT so now in the first time it will uh, download the dependencies for me in this case in this case only the github have okay it will take a few minutes to download okay now i have the application now i'm trying in on the browser say local loss 3000 it's nothing much so simple sample our normal uh, sample media application here right okay let's start our work okay now i need what i'm trying to do is uh, i have i'm creating a uh, method called get profile in the, the console so, and I'm passing the uh, my github username and it will give me the as a callback here something like this callback right right the callback it will give me the uh, github uh, profile information right so this is not currently working let's create it Okay, first of all, let's clear the backend. So I don't need this stuff, the basic things, right? Okay, let's implement whatever I do is. First, we load the GitHub module, right? Uh, this is how we can use it it's normally. Let's go to the feed me file. Uh, you can see the URL. So, example here, you have to call the, uh, you have to get the backend module, module like this, and you can you need to create an object like this okay let's create that so how we load uh, npm modules in uh, uh, using this npm smart package is pretty different from the normal standard way so how we can do is simple like this so say you know, github so I have we have multi called meteor dot require normally if you want to uh, load some internal core npm module you have to put uh, npm here but for for now for for us the packages depend modules depend in here you have to uh, load it with npm meteor required 
okay and I'm saying the github all right it's done and I'm creating the object get an object in github all right I need to give the version so I'm working on the version 3.0.0 all right done done I'm okay with it and then so I need to create the media method Right, this is the standard media method. Right, let's say it's good profile. Right, I have a simple media method called get profile, and it getting uh, I'm I'm uh, taking a username as the GitHub username as the parameter, like this. Now let's go get the user profile from the GitHub. But there's a problem, you, you know, the, so this is synchronous, this method is synchronous, you need to return the, um, but you know, the, the, so how uh, in Node.js modules are working, so, so they are synchronous. So now we need to bridge the gap here. So we have a method called, called meteor.sync, right? What it does is a pretty simple thing. You can do whatever the thing here, right? This is the method, right? You can do anything asynchronously here. And after that, you are done with it. You can call this callback. I uh, done callback with the error or with the error and the result if you have the error. And then it will go to come here and works, right? So if we call the sync method, so the whole execution will be post until you call the done callback, right? Let's work on this. So I'm getting the result response back in here. So the, the response, uh, so you whatever the things you are sending to the done will be come to this response right so it's in the github so they are, this is the don't worry about this this is the the api from you can see the the documentation for that one user and username right and they have a callback function let's say right it has the error object and the user object, user profile. So user profile like this. So what I know is, so I'm okay with now. I'm so I'm sending the error and the user profile. Hopefully it's imagine so we don't have any error here because I'm not checking that one, right? And so now I'm returning simply response the result. The result is the the object you passed here. If you want to check the error, you can see it's response dot error, right? In this case, I'm not worried about the error. So I'm about the result simply. Okay. So now I'm okay with the method. So let's call it from the client side. So I'm creating simple method call as we define here. Get profile. Right, I'm sending uh, username as the parameter. Another one is the callback function. Right, I'm calling this method meteor.call, and the one is get profile. And I'm passing the username, sorry, username and the callback. All right, okay. Now I think the, everything will be fine. Well, let's give it a try. Okay. So service working fine nothing wrong here and let's come to the browser and I think we call this earlier get profile Arunoda is the github username and this is the console log so we can see the prop from the console so I'm all right okay cool 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 so now we, we simply send you so you can see so right let's try something else Okay, say R Y. Right. Okay, there's not something like that. Say so, substack. Right. Okay, cool. You can see you can get the GitHub profile like this. So now look, you can see it's pretty straightforward and it's working. It's really working. So you can use any NPM modules like this. You can specify anything like this. Right, that's it. How you can work with the uh, npm modules with Meteor using the npm smart package. Right, uh, and I'll post the uh, links for the article. You can hear article on the Meteor hacks. 
uh, of the uh, introduction for the, this npm integration and the the package uh, the github project itself I'll, I'll add the links to the youtube uh, video description okay thank you see you next time